In this video, we're going to introduce the idea of minor scales. In another video, we learned how to create five different major scales. C major, G major, D major, F major, and B flat major. There's another system of writing music called the minor mode. It uses a different scale, which gives it a unique kind of sound. Listen to a little bit in the minor mode. Let's look at the scale that was used here. This excerpt was in the key of A minor. We often use lowercase letters to indicate minor keys. So here's one way to construct this minor scale. We can write the notes here on the staff. I could write this an octave higher, of course. Or if we're talking about the notes on the keyboard. Yeah, we're talking about all of the white keys here. And that's the A minor scale from uh, the little improvisation that I just played. To summarize what we just did, this scale uses the same notes as C major, that is to say all the white keys, but it's not the same key. The tonic, scale degree 1, is A, not C. This puts the half steps in different locations within the scale. So for minor scales, the pattern is whole, half, whole, whole, half, whole, whole. I'll show you this here. So there's a whole step here, a half step there, whole, whole, half, and whole, and whole. So in other words, here are the half steps, and here are the half steps between scale degree 2 and 3, and scale degrees 5 and 6. Let's see what happens when we write minor key scales starting on the following notes. E, B, D, and G. Let's do E and B first. So if I use a whole step, that'll be F sharp, not F natural because E to F is a half step, E to F sharp is a whole step, and now I want a half step, that's F sharp to G, two whole steps, G to A and A to B, a half step now, B to C, and two whole steps, C to D and D to E. And if I do this on B, here's a whole step, and a half, and 
two whole steps. Notice I need an F sharp, not an F. And a half step, F sharp to G. And two more whole steps. So the half steps here are between two and three. And between five and six. Two and three here. Five and six here. The rest of these are whole steps. And now let's do D and G. Half step here, half step here, that makes that B flat, and two whole steps. So here are the half steps. And now on G, I want a half step here. And I want a half step there, and these are whole steps. So again, half step there, and a half step there. You may have noticed that the scale for E minor uses the same notes as for G major. Likewise, B minor uses the same notes as D major. D minor uses the same notes as F major, and G minor uses the same notes as B flat major. These pairs of major and minor keys are called relative keys. They are related to each other because they're made from the same pitches. So we can say that both C major and A minor use all natural notes, in other words, the white keys. G major and E minor use F sharp, and the rest of them are natural notes. D major and B minor use F sharp and C sharp and F major and D minor use B flat. B flat major and G minor use B flat and E flat. It's no coincidence that if you start on scale degree six of any major scale, you can form the minor scale that uses the same notes. Remember the pattern of half steps and whole steps for minor. Whole half, whole whole half, whole whole. I'll demonstrate what I mean by extending this that way. Okay, consider it from there, and those are the notes of the G major scale. So if I go, instead of scale degree one in G major, if I start on scale degree six in G major. I'll end up with the same notes, but with E as the tonic, and this is E minor. So that's the way that they're related. Notice, by the way, that the half steps are still between F sharp and G, B and C. The difference is in G major, B and C are scale degrees three and four, and F sharp and G are scale degrees seven and eight. I could do the same thing with the scale right underneath it, the B minor scale. If I add two more notes there, here's the D major scale. And if I start two scale degrees lower than D major, I get the same notes, but now it's in B minor. Minor keys come with more differences and complications than major scales, but we'll save that for the next video. In the meantime, practice writing the minor scale based on the notes A, E, B, D, and G, the same way that we did here. And remember, whole half, whole, whole, half, whole, whole, and that's the pattern that we have. Now go practice.